guys welcome to minecraft so today i'm going to be showing you how to get high clicks per second or improve your clicks per second on the logitech g502 hero so um as you know um the logitech g502 hero doesn't the software doesn't support double clicking i'm not exactly sure why so it makes it pretty difficult to get over like um 10 clicks per second and um i think there's a cap at like i'm not sure exactly how many i think 15 or 4 I think it might be 15 or 20, but I've never actually gotten over 15 clicks per second on this mouse, whereas on my trackpad I have actually gotten uh, more than that. I'm not doing very good at clicking today, but um, basically I'm going to show you how to improve your clicks. So um, I'd say you might be able to improve them like by 2, or like almost by 2, because as you can see when I regular click, I get like 7 clicks per second, maybe. So um that's fine for like comboing and stuff, but when I try and um like say let's even just say Breezley Bridge, like um yeah, as you can see it doesn't exactly work. So um I'm gonna show you how to improve that. So the first way I'm gonna do is um drag clicking. So as you know, the Logitech G502 Hero, when you drag click it, it doesn't exactly work right. So as you can see, um I'm like drag clicking it, but it counts as one click per second. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So I made a full all out tutorial on how to do this, but um, basically what you're gonna try and do is drag click like you normally would, except do it slowly so you can actually increase your clicks per second. And so this is not like a surefire method because um, let me try and get over 10. Because um, I don't know exactly why, but sometimes like if you don't do it slow enough, then it won't actually count any of them. Um, so yeah, I have a whole tutorial on this. So as you can see, I hit 10. It's not great for bridging, because if, <laughs> if you're bridging like this... So it's not it's not great for bridging, but it will allow you to get like 12 clicks per second if you want to be like, oh, I have 12 clicks per second, I did that. Um, yeah, but uh, it will allow you to get a little more, but... um. Next one I'm going to talk about is butterfly clicking. So although you can't do this on this mouse, like you you can still like, click with two fingers, but you're not going to get any more clicks per second because you can't actually double click at all. So it's kind of useless. Um, I actually I got a ten there, but like I don't know, it, it's kind of useless because when you like double click on this one, it it counts as like one click per second. Which it kind of sucks, because um, technically what double clicking is supposed to do is you're supposed to get the initial hit click plus the extra click, so it's actually two clicks like that. So um, yeah, and that doesn't work on this because the software can't count the clicks when they're too fast. Like if there's too much of a separation, it's not going to be able to count them. But um, you can try it on a different mouse. But um, yeah, so basically butterfly clicking doesn't really work. Like. And also the um the mouse thing is too small for it to work because um you can't really fit both of your fingers on it so it's hard to click. But I'm gonna be showing you the actual way to get like over um like significantly over ten clicks per second. I'm not very good at this. So um I, I used to be a lot better at this, but um I don't know what happened. I don't think I've been practicing as much. But basically um this clicking method allows you to bridge like this. Um it doesn't really allow you, you to breezily because as you can see or any type of god bridge, as you can see when I do this, it doesn't, it, my mouse moves around too much. Basically this is called jitter clicking, it's terrible for you, it'll, kill, it'll get you carpal tunnel syndrome, but um, you can get insane clicks per second, like um, I think if in my prime I probably could get like 16 clicks per second on my trackpad, right now I'm not doing great. Because, um, I, I don't know, I don't think I've practiced this in a while. But, um, as you can see, I'm getting, like, constant, like, 10 clicks per second. But, um, it takes a little bit to warm up. So, like, you're not going to be able to really do this on, like, a bridge. <laughs> but, um, if you use your trackpad, you can, um, kind of, you see how I was kind of, like, breezing. And, um, you can kind of moonwalk also. I haven't actually done this in a while, but, yeah. So, you can moonwalk also. Um, and so it allows you to do like short little bridges like that, which aren't that good. Um, basically how you do it is if you flex your arm, you should see and like hold, um, your front, your <laughs> pointer finger with your, um, thumb basically and like flex your arm and try and shake it a little bit. And as you can see, there's a little spasm that goes on in your arm. You have to control that spasm and put it onto the clicks. 
so you can actually click fast. And so um, it'll take some practice, and I do not recommend doing this because it's very addicting, because you can get like insane clicks per second, but like, is it really worth it? <laughs> w tap creeper. Um, so um, basically, yeah, so if you want to learn how to uh, do any of these clicking methods, just Google them. But um, I'm t the, basically the only real clicking method that allows you to get like constant over 10 clicks a second is jerry clicking, and it's not that helpful, and it kind of damages your arm. So um, I would not recommend it, but um, yeah, so that's basically how to get um, high clicks per second. Wow, there's a lot of armor in here. Am I dead? What? Okay, well, um, I guess that'll be it for the video, so if you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe. If any of these helped you out, please um, comment below and let me know how it helped you out. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next one, so bye bye